Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I'm not sure if I was tagged for this. I don't really know. Um, so if you tagged me, I apologize. I'm not getting, giving you credit. You can just let me know that you tagged me. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to do the confessions of a beauty guru tag and mainly because I was going to do a styling video today, but the weather outside is completely cloudy and it's the horrible lighting to do styling. My lighting in general when it's sunny outside is still bad for styling. So we're just not going to do a fashion video today. We're going to do a tag video. So um, that's what I wanted to do is the confessions one. I think it's fun and I don't know. I haven't really read all the questions. I just know a few of them. So getting started. Number one, how many hours a week do you spend filming slash editing videos? Well, I work 40 hours a week at my normal job and um, so I don't do any filming or editing during the week. Nor Whoa, my voice just crashed right there. Did you hear that? I don't do any filming or editing during the week normally. Sometimes I will, depending on the situation. If I, you know, I get off at 5.30 and so if I'm at home not doing anything, I'll edit a video, but it's too late for me to film. So I never film during the week. Um, so I only really edit if I'm going to. But anyway, getting to the point of the question, I spend maybe, let's see, Saturday and Sunday are my filming days. I typically film only one of those days. And I know some people hate it when people pre-film videos, but honestly, what do you want from me? Because I work 40 hours a week. You, If you don't want me to pre-film, then I can post one video a week. And I don't think that's going to please everybody. So that's why I have to pre-film. Um, this job isn't going to last forever, so it's only through December right now. So then I can focus fully on filming and editing every day. Um, but for now, I spend maybe all day on Saturday or Sunday, depending which day I choose for filming. So maybe 10 hours in a day, so 10 hours a week I spend, and that's typically doing two to three videos for that week. I still post during the week, as you guys probably notice, um, but I, that's because I film during the weekend. So that's that question. Number two, are you a spender or a saver? I'm actually a little bit of both. I can save. I'm not the best saver. But I can if I really, really want to. Like, I'm saving right now to buy a car, which I really need. So, you know, I have some money in savings. But also, I'm a little bit of a spender, too. Because if I have the money in, like, my checking account, it's gone. Like, it'll be spent. So I have to pretend like I don't have money in order to save. So I'm a little both. Um, ultimately, I'd say I'm probably a spender, though. Number three, when is it easiest for you to film? Kind of already covered that question. Morning times, you know, afternoon times for Saturday or Sunday because of my regular job during the week. Oh, and if you guys want to know what I do, I work at a community college in the records office. I get that question a lot. Um, but yeah, I work at the college that I also attend classes at. Uh, okay, number four. What makes talking in front of the camera comfortable for you? That is... You know, it came with time, obviously getting started. I was completely awkward. I felt ridiculous talking to nobody. But as I started to grow a following and people were subscribing, I actually felt like people were watching my videos. So that's what makes it more comfortable for me to talk in front of the cameras because I feel like there's actually people on the other side watching and listening to what I'm saying. When I first started, I'm like, there's nobody there to listen. So what am I supposed to say? Hey, guys, because there aren't any guys watching my videos, like there's nobody. So when I first started it was really awkward, um, but now that I have people who do watch my videos, so much easier and I genuinely feel really close to all of you guys because you're so, so sweet to me. You're always there for me and you come to me for advice and everything, so I feel like we're friends. I feel like we're close and so I just feel like I'm talking to all my friends, my 33,000 friends, <laughs> that you all. Number five, what's your worst makeup slash hair habit? Hair habit, I do use heat on my hair every single day and um, that's really bad except if I don't wear makeup that day which is rare because I used to have Fridays off and so I would not wear makeup or do my hair on Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays and then the other two days would be for filming and editing. So now that I only have two days a week off, I typically have to take advantage of those days to, you know, run errands and go out in public and do filming. So I typically wear makeup during those days. So I do wear makeup every day and um, 
my I do my hair every day. Now my makeup, sometimes now this is really rare, and it's the only other thing I can think of is um, when we have like parties at our house or something, I'll sleep in my makeup. And not because I'm like wasted or anything, like I'm cog cognizant, you know what I'm talking about. I'm aware that I could take my makeup off, but I'm just tired and I just want to go to sleep. So I do that maybe once every two months, I sleep in my makeup, so it's not like detrimental to my skin, but it is bad for your skin to do that. But anyway, moving on. One quote that you wish the world would live by. One of my favorites is a shirt that I actually own. It's by Shakespeare. It says, love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. And that's like the epitome of what my belief is. Um, I feel like you should give everybody a chance. I feel like until that person proves that they're a bad person, you should still love everybody. You know, I'm very um, open and loving of all of society, and I know there are definitely horrible parts to society, but I still have faith in humanity, and I wish a lot of other people would too. My fiancé, on the other hand, hates society, and he thinks it's all corrupt, and that everybody is basically bad and I feel like that's a horrible way to look at life but um, I'm just completely the opposite of that so I just like people and you know you know what that means <laughs> how long do you spend getting ready every day for my typical work week um, I spend about an hour getting ready doing my hair and makeup my makeup takes a hell of a lot longer than my hair because I have this whole process of doing my makeup it's not that I wear a ton of makeup I do wear a lot but I don't make it look like I'm wearing a lot. So I know a lot of people don't understand, you know, wearing natural looking makeup to look like you don't have any makeup on. I look like I have makeup on, obviously. <laughs> um, but this is typically what I'll do during the week. I wear this kind of look every single day. Um, so it takes me about an hour to do hair and makeup. Hair takes me about 10 minutes. So that tells you how long it takes me to do my makeup. It's really bad. Number eight, your favorite video on YouTube. Oh my God. That is so hard to pick. Jenna Marbles, first of all, is one of my favorites, and so any of her videos really would be one of my favorites. There's people walking out. I feel like they're going to look at me. Also, one of my favorites is by Nikki Tutorials, and it's her um, Volkswagen video. It's I'll leave a link to it. I'm not going to say anything about it, but it's probably my favorite video on YouTube. I've watched it a million times. It's one of her tutorials. Um, so I'll leave a link to that video down below. Definitely watch it because it is really amazing. I love it so much. Um, number nine, a YouTuber that you watch who deserves more views, subscribers than they have. I have a lot. Um, I will link to my Share the Love video that I just did because all those girls need more viewers. And um, those are exactly the girls I would say in this question. So I'll just have a link to their channels down below because um, there's so many to mention. But also, I'll leave a link to my Share the Love video as well so you can see who I love on YouTube. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Number 10, one thing you're excited about in the upcoming year? Like, 2013? Well, I don't know about 2013. Um, I'm excited to not be working at the college that I'm working at right now. Not because the job is bad by any means. I love that job so, so much, but it's just not what I want to do with my life. I don't want to work in a college my whole life. It's a great experience, and I absolutely love everybody I work with. They feel like family to me, and I love them so much, and that's going to be the hardest part is walking away from all those people because it's seriously like my second family going to work, and it's amazing. I love my job. Um, but I am excited to turn a new chapter because... I've worked there for four years, I've gone to school there for four years, and so it's going to be a change in my life to walk away from it and to completely change from it because I'm going to have to find something new, you know, and I get to focus on YouTube, which is what I love, and so it's going to be completely different for me, different lifestyle, um, but I'm really looking forward to that. Your most awkward filming moment, number 11. What the hell would my most awkward filming moment be? Oh, I have one. There was one time when I was filming a vlog. Um, it was a follow me around vlog, which I'll link down below. I have so many links down there, but just check them all out. So I was filming a vlog that day and I went to the cemetery. Why did I go to the cemetery? Oh yeah, because I wanted to just stop there. Um, I went to the post office and then I drove to the cemetery. And I was 
filming and this dog runs up to me and I was like, oh my god. It was like a random dog and then it was like a little chihuahua. And this guy comes up, like I go and sit down and the dog just, you know, is around me running around and stuff. And this old man comes up to me. I don't even remember what he said to me. I say it in that video, my vlog video, so make sure you check that out. It's really awkward. But I'm just like holding a camera and um, I don't know, it was so awkward and weird because he was like trying to have a full on conversation with me and it's like... I don't know if he got the vibe that I wasn't really in the mood to talk to people, <laughs> except for you guys, because I was talking to you guys. I don't know, it was really weird. Check out the video, you'll see that moment. Actually, I don't film that moment, but I film afterwards when I'm like, oh, that's so weird. Moving on. Number 12, how long does it take you to prep for a video? Um, doing my makeup <laughs> takes a really long time, about an hour to film because I have different filming makeup than I do everyday makeup and um, because I wear HD makeup and I wear false lashes and everything for filming whereas when I go to work I don't really do all that um, so it takes me about an hour to do my makeup maybe five minutes to do my hair because I like the messy hair anyway so I don't really spend too much time on it um, this took me like two seconds because I straightened it yesterday and um, it was already pretty straight and I just had to run it through so it took me about an hour and a half to prep this morning um, and then just set up the camera. Normally if I'm doing a fashion video, like a styling video, oh god that takes forever because I have to plan all the outfits out. Um, actually the prep for that isn't as long as the filming process for those videos, um, but the prep takes me about 30 minutes to lay out all the clothes and everything that I'm going to change into, so it really depends on the video. Moving on, are you wearing pants, jeans, skirt right now, or are you actually wearing pajama bottoms? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's really embarrassing. I'm really I'm embarrassed to show you right now what I'm wearing on the bottom because this shirt is like cropped and it's really unattractive with my outfit. I didn't even know I would have to like stand up <laughs> in this video. I'm wearing um, workout shorts right now <laughs> from Forever 21. Yeah, I sleep in these and just do everything in these shorts. They're the most comfortable things ever so I really love my outfit right now don't you guys yeah that's really embarrassing that right there's my most awkward filming moment just so you guys know um, number 14 last and final question what are you most proud of in your life that's intense that's a deep question right there um, honestly I, I'm assuming it's a rhetorical question because it's part of the beauty guru tag um, Obviously, I'm very proud of YouTube. I wouldn't say it's my greatest life achievement or anything like that. Um, I don't really know what I'm most proud of in my life. I feel like who I am as a person, I'm in a really good place with who I am and knowing who I am, being happy with who I am. And so reaching that moment is a really proud moment for me because it's really hard. You know, I basically found that moment when I discovered what I really wanted to do with life, with my life, and that was a really hard decision for me. And so the fact that I think I made the right choice is a really proud moment for me. So, and you guys helped me get there. So I guess without you, I wouldn't be able to be happy right now. Which is true, because I couldn't imagine life without YouTube. There are days, definitely, I'm not going to lie, where I don't want to film. And um, I do film because I don't feel obligated to, because I'm not trying to be fake. Or, you know, if I'm in a really bad mood, I'll force myself to film. I don't want to feel like I'm coming off that way to you guys. Um, I'm not in that moment right now, just so you know. There have been days that, where I've done that, where I've pushed myself to film because I have to post videos um, for you guys. And so, I don't even know where I was going with this. Um, where was I going with this? I don't know, but there are definitely those days where I don't, I'm not, I don't enjoy YouTube as much as others, as other days. Um, there are days where I absolutely love it, especially reading all your comments. I mean, the world to me. I can't even tell you how many times I've cried by reading your comments. It is absolutely amazing. I just love doing it so, 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 so much. So it's really amazing experience and I'm also very proud of being a guru on here and having all of you guys watch my videos. I think it's amazing and I'm very proud that I've come this far because YouTube has definitely changed my life for the better. It's helped me discover who I am and grow confidence and it seems weird because People think that YouTube can often 
pull down your confidence and because of all the haters and whatnot. But for me, it's the exact opposite. It literally builds you up and I consider haters um, fans and complimentary because if you're not getting hate, you're doing something wrong. If you're just getting positive remarks and no criticism, then you're boring and you're just, you're not, you're not supposed to please everybody, you know? So that's my thoughts on haters and comments. I still delete the comments because I don't want the negativity there, but um, I, I still have some comments posted on my past videos, but now I've come to a place where I just delete them. They don't affect me mentally, but I'm like, thank you for viewing my video and leaving a comment, taking the time to point out what you don't like about me because it means I'm doing something right. So that's my view on that. Um, so any gurus out there who want to start, don't take haters the wrong way because they're honestly, they're, I know people say this all the time, but they could be jealous. Um, most of the time when you click on their channel, they have no videos whatsoever. And if they do, they're very brave people. <laughs> but um, yeah, typically they don't have videos posted and they like to critique people to make themselves feel better. I don't know why they do that. And I don't know why I'm going on this tangent from this question. I don't even know how I got here. I guess I just feel like talking to you guys today. That's weird. Um, not really weird because I, like I said, you guys are my friends. So that's all for this video. That's all the questions. I'll have some individuals tagged down below if you want to know who I tagged um, and who I want to see do this video. So go ahead and check out all the links down below and leave uh, video requests down below. I'm going to have my Halloween, my first Halloween tutorial up very soon. I got all the props and everything for it. I'm so excited, you guys, for this Halloween video. Cannot wait. I may only do one Halloween video though. I'm sorry. I just don't have a lot of money to just go and buy all this stuff to just do a video on. I feel like I need to wear it some other time or you know what I mean. So I'm just going to probably do one Halloween video this year. Maybe next year I'll have more money and I'll be able to spend it on, you know, making a video for you guys. But right now it's just not reasonable for me. So I apologize for that. So anyway, this video is getting way too long and out of control. Go ahead and uh, leave requests though down below for future videos. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.